Hello, hello, this is KC from KC Grandpa Tech, where we talk about tech, fun stuff, and much, much more. Today I want to talk to you about upgrading your cooling fan in your in your desktop. Uh, before we get started, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate those likes, I appreciate those comments, and I definitely appreciate when you subscribe to the channel. Now, one of the problems I have, and I do a lot of graphics, obviously, because I'm running a channel. When I'm rendering, I notice that my CPU cooling fan takes off and gets really, really, really going. So, the one that I had in there was like this, small, came with the standard motherboard, but didn't do the job. And the one I'm putting, I put in, is again from Intel, but the main difference is it's much, much taller with much, much higher. So I'm going to give you a quick pic, some quick pictures about that, and we'll talk about it in a second. So as you can look at, you can see these two fans. The one on the right was the one that came with my system. It's much shorter and has less cooling ability. The second one, okay, it also from Intel uh, in their family of fans, and is much taller, um, and it's just a little bit noisier, about 35 decibels. And it does a good job of increasing the cooling in my system. Now, both of them are push-pin, and that is my, was the problem that I have in my case. Either I had a choice of going to a much larger heat sink, but then I would have to take the motherboard out and put a mount behind it, which then it could screw into it because there was nothing that I could find that was push-pin. Uh, or I could put this in. And that did do a great job. It did drop the cooling the temperature on the CPU when I'm rendering. Uh, let me show you a little bit more, and we'll get finished. So this is how we ended up. The one on the right is that old, the old standard CPU cooling fan that comes with the system. Um, and the one on the left is that heightened Intel cooling fan. And that did a much better job. Started a lovely more noise from the cooling fan, but on the on the up and up, that's a way to go. Because, like I said, this these two fans are not meant for overclocking, but they do do a the second fan made by Intel also does a great job of increasing the cooling. And I did see a good 20 degrees centigrade cooling improvement on the unit. So let's finish up. So the bottom line is, if you have your standard computer that you desktop that you purchased, and you notice that your CPU cooling fan is coming on and turning high when you're doing some gaming or anything else, you probably need to improve the cooling in the system. One, of course, is, to, is you saw that red cooling fan I've added to increase the flow in there. But what I did, again, is I decided, in my particular case, that my computer came with a small cooling fan. And this particular one, use, like I said, uses these push pins, which you basically turn to open. These open here, these little push pins. And uh, I found one that was identical to it, except that did more cooling. And the only thing, and in my particular case, the one I bought also came with the silver oxide cooling cream or tra heat transfer cream on there. If yours didn't, you can buy it, um, the silver oxide cream. Uh, you can find it in many, many places, but I purchasely like to buy it in a large tube because that's what I do. I do a lot of repair, computer repair, and a lot of CPU repair. And I find that a lot, a lot of times when the uh, computer's been used for a while, the silver, the white cream, heat transfer cream that's on the CPU tends to dry out and the cooling fan tends to run hotter. So when I put, whenever I put back in again, I tend to put a silver oxide cream. And you know what? This large tube cost only $5 versus the little tube. So be, uh, be aware, you know, pricing is really good. Anyway, this is Casey from Casey Grandpa Tech. I hope this has been instructional on um, replacing your CPU cooling fan on a push pin system. Uh, until next time, have a great day. Mm -hmm.